hello guys welcome back to fashion for queens hope you're all doing good we are going to be making this lovely dress today hope you sit back and enjoy this tutorial in the making of this dress i had health challenges guys so i couldn't finish my dress so i couldn't wear it to show you guys so my dress is actually still in pieces but i promise that once i'm able to get back on my feet i will wear the dress i'll finish it wear the dress and post a picture about it so follow me on facebook follow me on instagram join our group and please subscribe if this is your first time so let's get right to the tutorial already this is my half length i'm going to be ma measuring my my chest line so I'm, I'm going to be cutting the front and the back together so that's what we are doing right now so i'm taking my shoulder measurements i'm taking my normal shoulder measurements which is 15 and then i'll just go ahead to create my arm curve and everything so next i'm taking my shoulder slope and then my i'll cut out my neck or i'll mark my neck sorry it's a total neck so the neck is not supposed to it's not required to be wide so i'll be taking one inch as my depth for both the front and the back sorry one and a half inch for my dead for both the front and the back then i'm going to create my shoulder slope so for our shoulder we know that we have ruffles or gathers at the shoulder so at this point i'm going to be adding i'm going to be adding extra inches to the shoulder i'm going to be adding extra five inches allowance to the shoulder for us to be able to form the gather so look at it i've added five inches allowance so I'll just connect the armhole straight to the new point we have there. So if you have more fabric, you can work with, you can make yours as wide as you want it to be. I used two yards of fabric for this, my project. Anyway, I'm on the slim side, so it was okay for me the way I wanted it. So I'm taking my measurement now, my bust measurements and my waist measurements. I also recommend that I use a very light fabric for this. I used um, Duchess fabric, so it falls nicely. Although it's very slippery, but it's really okay for this type of dress. So I'm going to connect it and then cut it out. Please, guys, don't fail to like this video. So watching it right now, you can just hit the like button or the subscribe button or drop a comment down below. Thank you. So I'm cutting, cutting it out now. So by the time we ruffle this up, by the time we ruffle the shoulder, our shoulder is going to come back to normal. So it's not something to be confused about. So having cut that, I'm just trimming out my zipper allowance and that is that for the half length of the dress. So when we ruffle this up, we're going to see the beauty. So we're going to go down to the skirt part. I'm starting off with the back. I'll cut the back first. So this piece I marked here is for my zipper allowance. I'll just go ahead and cut out my, I'll measure out my waist, my hip, my rounding, and then I'll just cut it out and then face the front. So we're done with the back. Next thing I'm going to do is the front. So in order to save fabric and time, I'm going to use a brown paper to a paper pattern to cut the front. So I've just traced out the um my skirt. You can see my hip around here, everything is already cut. So what I'm going to do now is to notch our our dart where your dart is going to be. So you just measure four inches from the midpoint and then notch. So I'm opening it up from where I notched and remember this is a side slit with one side gathers. 
so i'll just push this to the side a little bit away from where i notched one inch like one inch away from where i notched so like i'm going to turn it to the other side so you see how it looks like yeah so you see i didn't fold it exactly where i notched i folded it a an inch away from where i notched that's where our opening is going to be so i'll just slit this open and do my alterations So I'm just going to keep this part one side, the smaller part, I'll keep it one side and then do the alterations on the bigger part. So we are going to measure our lower hip which is 10 inches. So from this point you can see the lower hip is 10 inches, that's where our gathers is going to stop. So this is the slit part, so I'm going to be measuring 10 inches and I'll connect it together, draw a straight line. So I'm going to be slitting this open all the way to almost the tip of the hip. Don't want to divide it into two. So you're just going to open this up as wide as you want, as much as your fabric can take. So the more you open it, open it wide, the more wide your gathers in front will be. So I just placed it on my fabric. This is how much my fabric can take. I said I used two yards for this project. I wasn't having much fabric. So I'm just going to cut it out and then go straight to the sewing. So we might want to notch so that you won't get confused. Notch the beginning and the end of this opening. So you know where to start your gathers from and where to end your gathers. So guys, this is it. So we're just going to go ahead to sew. So if you go, if you're going to sew it, this is how it's going to gather up. You just gather it up from this point where we taped to the top. So this is one part of the front. So we're going to cut the other the fabric for the other part of the front. So I'll just place it on my fabric and trace it out. So then we just I'm just going to show you how I sew this. So the first step is to sew the shoulders, to sew a straight line and gather it up. So this is the shoulder of the front. So I just went ahead to sew a straight line, gather it up, and sew the other part and gather it up. So after doing this for the front and the back, the next step is to join the shoulders together. As you can see, I've joined them together. So like I told you guys, I wasn't able to finish my dress due to health challenges. Please bear with me. I'll just show you the few steps I was able to achieve before I ended the video. So I'm just going to join my shoulder and then next I'm, I'm working on the, the skirt part. So I'm going to gather it up from this point where my hand is touching to the top of the skirt. I'll just sew a straight line and gather it up. So after doing that, I'm going to be joining the other parts together to the part where we gathered remember that there's a slit in front so we're joining it from from a point so that the other part is going to be open the down part is going to be open for slits so i'll just arrange my gathers nicely so this is how it looks like at the end of the day so you just go ahead to finish up your slits and then join it together with your half length and your dress is done at the end of the day so like like i promised guys i'm going to once i am back on my feet and well i am going to finish my dress and take a picture please follow me on facebook if you haven't done so please subscribe like and share this video